Hello friends, welcome to Coffee and Tarot. My name is Mary and this is another reading for you. Today I am addressing the theme of a third party situation. If you are in this type of situation, then there may be um, an important message here for you. We have three piles to choose from as usual. Um, and these are just, uh, they don't mean anything, okay? It's just for you to choose a pile, whatever imagery here or even the words, uh, whatever it, uh, it makes you feel, then maybe it can aid you choosing your pile. So I'm going in this reading to compare the energy of your person, to, of your person towards the, the third party and the energy of your person towards you. And that's it, okay? It's not a, an extensive reading, it's just a quick check. So make your choice and I'll see you in your pile. Hello, pile number one. If you chose this card, She of the Lotus is a beautiful card, then this may be your reading. So let's start by pulling your energy to know if this resonates with you. I like to do this every time. So uh, you are, you have more certainties that you chose the correct pile. So what is the energy of pile number one? Okay, we have one here. When it comes to uh, their connection with their person, we have a four of pentacles on the upright. We have uh, a eight of wands on the reverse. We have uh, a two of wands on the reverse. And finally, we have a six of wands on the reverse. Okay. So <clears throat> let's just quickly pull an oracle card here. Your energy regarding this connection with the person on your mind, pile number one. What is your current energy? We have Imagine on the reverse. Ooh. Okay, we have a lot of blocked energies here. I'm going to clarify this, but the, the first thing that we have is a Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is a protective energy um, of what we already have right maybe you are very protective very holding very tightly to this connection it may be the case for uh, most of you it's something that you feel you it was hard for you to to have this it, it it's something precious you don't, you don't want to lose it maybe you're i know that I feel that things are not very very positive because of all these cards here, but even so, it's something that you still don't want to lose. So we have a Seven of Cups here jumping out <clears throat> with a Page of um, Wands. Then we have uh, a Three of Wands on the reverse. So you have a lot of passion for this person and I feel you don't know where to put all this passion. You want to manifest this passion into more than you have right now, but it seems sometimes you, uh, you, are, you see yourself holding this passion in your hands and you don't want to, and you don't know where to put all this passion, what to do with this. Then we have a ton of pentacles <clears throat> and the wheel of fortune on the reverse. So we have a two of, of ones there that means you are in a certain place that you know already with this person. You have a story with this person. You have you have a context with this person. You you have something with this person that you that is already familiar to you, that you know, that you are used to. It's a place where you don't want to be for uh, for so long. You want to step out of this. To pursue a ten of pentacles here. You want something more serious. You, you, you want the full package. You don't want just what you have. But um, 
it seems you you're you're losing inspiration even it's like this horizon was before your hands before your eyes and it seems so distant you don't know how to step out of the situation you are right now to pursue to be in a better place with this person with in this ten of pentacles that is an end game that is the end game abundance that you want with this person you want to build something with this person something very stable a life thing so <clears throat> we have a six of ones here with the will of fortune on the reverse that is saying to me that according to your perception what is hindering this from happening is our external circumstances it's something that you cannot control right the will of fortune is on the reverse it's not favorable and that brings you a sense of uh, failure a six of ones on the reverse you can't be successful in this quest because there are too many or at least one big uh, external influence that is preventing you from from having what you want so in spite of being of existing a lot of confusion here and you only what you what do you have to deal with this confusion in this unclear situation you have a page of wands it's your still your spark you still have a spark here you still have a little bit of faith here but at the same time you have lost your capability of imagining a, a good outcome for this it's like you are teetering between still having enthusiasm for this connection and having lost your faith in having this Ten of Pentacles here. That's what I feel with these cards. So <clears throat> let's move on and let's see what is the energy of your person towards the third party right now. And I'm going to pull uh, nine cards with reversals if needed. And then I'm going to read the full picture, okay? What is the general energy of your person towards the third party? We have uh, a King of Cups and we have a Seven of Wands. And we have uh, a Five of Cups on the reverse. And this one wanted to come out as well with a Judgment card. What is the energy of your person regarding the third party, towards the third party at this time that you're seeing this video? This is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter when you see this. We have a six of pentacles on the reverse. We have a temperance card on the reverse. And we have strength. And to finalize, let's see more. What is the energy of your person towards the other party right now? We have the Magician. We have a Five of Wands. And we have the Fool on the reverse. And on the back of the deck, we have an Ace of Cups on the reverse, with an Eight of Pentacles on the reverse. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with the back of the deck card. That is kind of the summation of energies that your person has regarding the third party. We have an Ace of Cups on the reverse. That means this Ace of Cups, that is the representation of their feelings for the other party, is uh, twisted, right? Um, with all of these details here of these cards, I feel, and they also have this clarification here that is the Eight of Pentacles on the reverse, that means it's like your person uh, believes and feels that they should love the other party, they should love this other person, but they just don't 
feel it. I see uh, effort here to to make this uh, Ace of Cups be on the upright, but it's not. It's it's on the reverse. It's like it's supposed they they are supposed to love this person. They want to love this person, but they can't. It's a it's a chore, right? It's a hard it's it's hard it's hard work loving this person. Eight of Pentacles means hard work, and it's it's on the reverse. That means there's something negative here in this Eight of Pentacles energy. It's like it's a very it's a very hard work trying to love this person. And uh, and that's the energy that uh, that sums up uh, what your person feels for the other person and and about the connection they have with the other person right now. They come here as a king of of cups, so that's the role that they want uh, that they feel obliged to um, to embody this king of cups. I feel your person um, is not a bad person. Okay, is a person with 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 morals and um, maybe he or she respects the other party maybe they have children for some of you and that adds, adds up to the situation so they feel they have to love this this person but it's really really hard to give something to the other party because they don't want to give it's like an obligation. They have the magician here. That's their effort in making this connection work. But then they fall short when it comes to giving what they have to give in this connection because they don't feel like giving, because it's an obligation. As a central card here in this nine spread cards that I always uh, take as something important because it's right in the center. We have a temperance card on the reverse, that means there is no balance in this connection. And when we find a temperance card regarding a relationship, it's one of the best cards to have. It's that kind of relationship where there is no drama, where two people fit well with each other. It's like the perfect mix they complement each other. They, they are, maybe they are opposites, but it doesn't matter. It, they work together very well. They are perfect for each other. It's on the reverse. It means that that's what your person is trying to make happen, but it's not possible. They can't, there are too many obstacles in this connection, too many, whew, I don't know, uh, different for every different case. But this five of ones means that there is a big confusion in this connection. They have accumulated so many opposing forces in this connection, opposing views, opposing needs, opposing uh, feelings, um, resentments, things that have to be dealt with. Um, you know, when a, when a connection is is too too flooded with with complications and problems and uh, bad decisions, it's too much uh, to face. Then they have a seven of uh, of uh, ones on the reverse. That means that they feel powerless to tackle the obstacles of this connection. There are two great, two greater obstacles. So <clears throat> your person is really, really hard, really, really making an effort here with this strength card. Is pushing for a new beginning, a refreshing beginning of this connection with the fool. But it's not happening because the fool is on the reverse. There are too many uh, fives of ones in this connection for this fool to happen as a clean slate of this connection. Your person with the judgment card is trying to leave behind all the disappointments, resentments, sadness, depression that this connection is causing them, has caused to them for a lot of time, I feel. It's a, it's a, it's a connection with a third party that 
has been having many problems, maybe for years. So there are too many things accumulated. And this judgment card, even though it's on the upright, it means just that your person is making this effort also together with this strength cards for a new beginning, but it's not happening because your person has too much baggage from this connection as well, maybe the other person as well. And because they don't have the feelings to make this happen. It's like their love is already tainted. And, and of course, love is like a small plant. You have to water it every day. It's a cliche and so and so. But if it's punched too much, love will break. And it will never be the same again. It, doesn't, it cannot be fixed. And that's what I see here. This thing cannot be fixed. So it's a very sad situation here. Let's see uh, their energy towards you, okay? Let's see your person's energy towards you. So the same spread now for the quarantine, pile number one. What is the energy of their person regarding the quarantine, pile number one uh, at this time? their energy for pile number one the person they have in their mind please we have a knight of pentacles on the reverse we have uh, the hanged man on the reverse okay these aren't too many We have death. What is the energy of your person, Paul number one, regarding you? What is their energy regarding you, please, towards you? Their emotional energy. We have um, a Five of Cups on the reverse. We have an Ace of Pentacles. And we have, uh, what? Ten of Swords on the reverse. So, so far, I don't have the full picture here, but I tend to think that for this uh, pile here we are dealing with people who may have had a separation and your person is not accepting that uh, if not a separation the perspective of that things are rocky things are shaky there's a separation on the horizon if if, if it's not already a separation there's a the threat uh, the threat of it so let's see more what is the energy of your person we have an Ace of Swords on the reverse. We have a Nine of Pentacles on the reverse. And we have a Five of... Okay. A Five of Pentacles. So on the back of the deck we have an Ace of Cups together with the page of pentacles. So, <clears throat> your person nurtures feelings for you. They have an ace of cups. They had an ace of cups for the other person um, on the reverse. Well, yours is really on the upright, even more so when they have the moon there. The moon is about something deep, okay? Something instinctive, something subconscious uh, something uh, if you want to call it on the soul level it's it's okay it's it may be and it's about uh, the pool the magnetic pool that someone cannot escape from and this is love this is an ace of cups so your person has feelings for you maybe they really do love you i feel i feel that you 
you faced, for most of you guys, that's what I feel here. You faced a separation here. If some of you did not face a separation, then there is one in the horizon. Okay, we have a death card. We have a ten of swords on the reverse. And we have a five of pentacles. All this is confirming a separation. If not a separation, the threat of it. It's on the table, this separation. Your person is not accepting this. They don't want this Ten of, of Swords here. That is a bad closure, a bad ending, a, a sad, horrible ending. They don't want this. This is not over for them. These swords here, they're not dead. This connection is not dead for them. And if you're not in separation, the thought of it, they cannot accept it. So... For the ones who are in separation, this person is offering you an Ace of Pentacles here. If they're not offering you, at least they're thinking about that. They are desperate. The Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of something. They are not offering you a ton of Pentacles, right? But at least they're opening the door for this garden here, this abundant garden. The first stone, the first building block. This is something different of what they did in the past because they have an, a hanged man there on the reverse. It means that in the past they were very idle, right? They couldn't do anything about that. They couldn't do anything about the situation. They, their hands were tied. So there were this hanged man sacrificing their happiness because they couldn't be entirely with you. Well, now the hanged man is on the reverse. So maybe they are thinking about changing uh, how they behaved in the past, changing their mindset, changing their approach. If they are not really, really thinking about that, they are kind of conveying this message to you, offering this. Because what? Because they feel worthless without, without you. This Nine of, of Pentacles is someone who is very well by their own. Okay, They don't need the other person. This person has enough. They can't, uh, they don't have enough without you. This person can't stand the feeling of being single of you. That's why they are offering or thinking about this Ace of Pentacles and changing their behavior. Now, we have here their desperate att attempt to avert this Five of Cups that is full depression, that is full... Uh, a very harsh loss, a very painful loss. They don't want this. So, they are coming off here as the Knight of Pentacles on the reverse. And they have this Ace of Swords on the reverse. To me, this tells me, and of course take this as it resonates, they're, that they are not sure about this Ace of Pentacles. It's like um, the change that they are promising you or they are thinking about or they are pro promising to themselves. In fact, they are not sh really sure that this Ace of Pentacles can happen. Why do I say this? Because the the Knight of Pentacles is, is on the reverse. So... It's not fully re reliable. There's something wrong here with this Knight of Pentacles. They want to be this, but it's on the reverse. So the energy is not flowing. And to add to that, we have an Ace of Swords here on the reverse. That means something is not true. Maybe to themselves, okay? What I see here is that they are desperate about this. Even, right, I, I said to you, if you are in separation, we have this, okay? But if you're not, then there's the perspective of a separation. If there, everything is wonderful, then this is not your pile, guys. Because this is pretty clear, this message. So what I see here is a person who is desperate because... They fear losing you for good. 
and they may be promising you an Ace of Pentacles or they may be convincing themselves that this Ace of Pentacles is possible because they are so desperate. But in fact, there are still here little shadows here that are not... We can't be sure right now. That's it, guys. Let's end with a positive note. <clears throat> because a viewer um, suggested that I should end with a positive note when things are not very positive, and I agree with her. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's just finish with what are the blessings that are coming to you in terms of emotions, okay? Of your emotional state. What are the blessings that are coming to you uh, shortly, right? In the near, very near future. For this file, please. And I want three cards because you are different people. Okay, one, two, and three. And then you can choose one of the three cards and go to the timestamp for for the cards that for the card that you chose. We have for the first one the spirit of the frog. Finish disorganization. The second one, spirit of the dog, be faithful to what you love. And the spirit of the wolf, uh, transform knowledge into wisdom. So let's clarify this a little bit before anything else. So for the ones who chose the spirit of the frog, your next blessing in terms of emotional, uh, of your emotional state <clears throat> will be, um, maybe things will fall into place. Uh, shortly, okay, in a way that will be kind of a, almost like a fresh, uh, fresh air, okay? Things are messy right now, but you can expect this, this mess to, to stop existing, okay? We have the fool. We have a Nine of Wands. And we have the Empress. So, <clears throat> this is you sitting on your Empress, Empress throne. And, and that's very positive. It seems you will change your mindset. Um, and you, sit, you will sit in your power space. Um, in the next few weeks or something, in the short, um, in the near future. This is something that will happen to you in, in an internal way, okay? Your scattered thoughts, your scattered emotions, your emotional confusion will be organized. Something will happen, maybe you will make this happen, that will have you have um, a new start, with this fool. In this new start, you will know what are your limits, what are your uh, boundaries here, and you will be this empress to yourself and to others as well. So you can expect here a shift of perception, a shift of uh, behavior perhaps, and that will be something that will make you grow and will make you love yourself if not immediately at least it will be the beginning for that process for you to love yourself as an empress so let's see the spirit of the dog for the ones who chose the spirit of the dog what are uh, what is the, the the next blessing they will have in terms of their emotional space the spirit of the dog says, be faithful to what you love. We have a nine of wands. We have a five of swords. And we have a ten of wands. Let's clarify this. So let's clarify first the Nine of Wands. Mm, 
We have uh, judgment. So, like in it, it's kind of a like it happened with the spirit of the frog here. This first card for you. The blessing will also consist in you learning to set boundaries. And that will be very healthy and empowering to you. Ace of Pentacles. It's like you will rise from the Phoenix um, and you will deal with your past, uh, past hurts, past negative things. Um, in a more enlightened way, you will learn. Okay, and then we have a Seven of Swords. So, <clears throat> it seems there will be a conflict in the near future that in the end will be kind of productive. Even though the Five of Swords is in general a negative card because it's about a, a fight that is not really fair and or a fight where the opponent is very big and it speaks about failure and so and so. In this case, because we are speaking about a blessing, it means that sometimes from conflicts, good things happen. It's like when we, sh when we rock the boat, um, things sometimes are more clear after that and we learn things and uh, resolutions come and conclusions come from that and uh, things get go uh, things move right instead of being in such idle energy so we have an ace of pentacles here that means there will be in the horizon the near future horizon a new tangible start for you after a fight after a conflict it may be with your person or not but it may be it depends on you it depends on your life but there will be here a conflict here it may be even within yourself but from this conflict an ace of pentacles will arise now this will happen because there is love here and someone will be faithful to what one's love it may be a person i don't have details it may be you who will love yourself more it may be your person who because he or she loves you will give you this ace of pentacles it depends so what i take here is that um the ten of wands with the seven of of swords kind of seems negative um in the beginning again but it's like there is a hidden blessing here. From this, things will get rocky. And from this, these, not, these ten ones will be escaped from. Someone will escape these ten ones. That is the burden that you have been carrying for some time. You will finally find your escape route from this. Your escape route from this. And that will be, will be good for you. Because that's when you will have the chance to have... A new start a new practical tangible start it may be your with your person or not but from all this what I take is that you will raise boundaries you will be better than in the past you will have a conflict from this conflict something productive will happen an ace of Pentacles and someone will finally avoid the ten ones that you will have that you have been carrying, someone, you, it's not someone, it's you. You will avoid more of these ten ones that you have been carrying for some time, for so long. So that's it. For you who chose the spirit of the dog, let's see now the spirit of the wolf transform into knowledge, transform knowledge into wisdom. So what is that about? What are the blessings? The blessing or the blessings that will come in the near future for his people who chose the spirit of the wolf. We have uh, the lovers. We 
We have uh, an Ace of Cups. We have a Eight of Wands. Okay, uh, I kind of don't need anything else. I see here love coming to towards you and sticking its face um, right in front of you. It will be a surprise here. I don't know if this will be with your person or it will be with someone else. But I see a connection here. I don't see this is about self-love. This is another guy or girl that is coming for you or your person. I don't know. It's another human being that is coming towards you. A connection. The possibility of a connection. We have an Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and we have this Eight Ones here that is saying that this, this will be unexpected. So, uh, I feel with the spirit of the wolf, it will be your match. It will be someone who will be kind of, if you are the, the alpha wolf that you are in this, in this, uh, in this spread, it's about you. You are the alpha. So it means that the other alpha will show up. Your right match will show up. It may be your person or not. It may be another one that you're not expecting to, to exist. Okay. So this will come fast because I'm asking for your next blessing for the near future. Hi guys, <clears throat> from pile number two. If you chose this Beyond the Mind card just because uh, you felt pulled to it, then this may be your reading. Let's see if it is because first I'm going to pull your energy to know if you resonate <clears throat> with this message so what is the energy the emotional energy that is most common for pile number two regarding their person right now in this third party situation one card with reversals if needed please what is your energy pile number two right now we have one coming out spirit of the frog ending disorganization Okay, let's <clears throat> keep the oracle coming. Let's see more. What is your energy right now? Your emotional energy regarding your person right now in this situation. We have higher forces. Okay, let's see one of this. So what is your energy? Today is a very rainy day. I don't know how is your weather? Where are you from? But today it's really a winter day, winter cozy day. Let's see. You have uh, listened to your inner voice. It's about your intuition that is whispering uh, in your ear, maybe. Let's pull one of these little ones. What is your energy, my dear people, in pile number two? We have too many jumping out. Should I take this? Okay, I'm going to take it. Seduction. And then we have sunglasses on the reverse. And then we have healing heart. It's on the reverse, guys, this healing heart. So let's clarify this with a tarot, okay? Hmm. So it's a sticky situation that I'm seeing here and that's probably expected, right? So let's clarify first the spirit of the frog that addresses ending this organization. Um, that's the, the little message there, but it, it may not be just that. Let's see what is that about. Okay, one falling page of coins <clears throat> let's clarify the higher forces over there what is that about we have a three of pentacles let's clarify listen your inner voice <clears throat> Ooh, okay, 
So it's kind of confirming the vibe I was getting with these cards. We have a Three of Swords on the reverse. Let's clarify the Seduction cards. We have a, a, a Ten of Wands on the reverse. Let's clarify the Sunglasses. We have justice, okay. This is kind of singing beautifully today, <laughs> these cards to me in this pile. Let's see, what is that healing heart on the reverse? Ace of swords on the reverse. So, I don't know if you uh, all will resonate with this, but I see a person here that is on a positive process. Um, I don't see a person here that is on the mercy, at the mercy of the situation. Maybe you were in the past. Now, not anymore, at least not so much. I see a person here who is finally, if you're not in the process, you're trying to be there, but is finally in this uh, very slow process of um, centering yourself in this situation having a little bit more power in um, inner power in this situation um, it's like you're taking it's a slow process and it's it's just the first baby steps you're taking in order to uh, organize your feelings organize your thoughts in this have some uh, grounding uh, thoughts here, some clarity, some... It's like you're, you're in the, the first little steps of making positive resolutions, positive decisions regarding this connection. It's like in the past you were uh, more or less this leaf on the wind or this little paper boat um, at the mercy of the sea and the tides and the currents of the sea and now you're trying to steer your your direction in a way that is more healing for you is more fair to you it's like you're thinking of you for the first time for some of you it may be for the first time but it's like you are taking a little bit of more care about about you about what you deserve uh, you're being more friendly to yourself maybe you're trying to love yourself a little bit more you're coming from a place that is full of pain you you were hurt a lot in the past you still are you're still hurt but now it's like you just uh, reached a very, you reached rock bottom. I don't know if that's the expression. And now you're trying to get up uh, and try to, and trying to look at yourself and treat yourself as your best friend for the first time, maybe for some of you. I see this page of coins here as a cautionary approach baby steps learning to learning to it's like you're learning to walk again very slowly very gently in order to uh, tackle the disorganization of feelings of events of thoughts that you have been facing in the past uh, it seems you uh, you are holding on to a certain foundation something it's like a grip that you're getting um it's like something happened i don't know what but it's something very profound with with these higher forces it's like a certain awareness uh, very or a certain event that that was very meaningful to you it may be it doesn't have to be something sudden it may be something that was happening slowly and gaining strength and strength i don't know if i'm making myself clear but it's it's this thing that is giving you a foundation for you to rise uh, again in this in this page of coins 
way. Okay. Now, your intuition is working very hard to aid you in this. You have strong intuition. You are very gifted. You have a, a powerful, powerful ally, your intuition. And uh, your intuition is trying to be your best friend in this case. It's trying to help you heal from these three of swords. It's, um, it's something that you're starting to listen a little bit more carefully. You're, you're starting to pay more attention to this intuition and that's helping you too. Now, in the past, it seems you were lost uh, in, in passion, seduction, adrenaline. It's, it was like a, a dream, okay, that you can control. You were really at the mercy of all this fiery passion, this desire, this thing that, that is so passionate that it seems like it's, it's destined. It's like it, at a soul level. It has a big weight on you. It's, a, it's so big, this passion, this, this adrenaline, this, um, this attraction to this person. It's so big that it has put a weight, a burden on you. You're starting to release this a bit. Just like you're starting to release uh, a dream, waking up from a dream, maybe. Slowly, very slowly. Now, you have there those sunglasses that are on the reverse with the justice card. That means I feel that those sunglasses were you, for some of you, were you hiding from your true self, you ignoring your own feelings, you ignoring your own needs in this connection. It's like you were hidden. Um, with these sunglasses, your true self couldn't be shown. Couldn't, you couldn't speak your truth. You couldn't speak your justice. You couldn't act in that way. And now uh, this is starting to be released in order for you to find something fair, okay? Justice in this life, in your life. Then we have here a broken heart. In this case, it's a broken heart. The card says healing heart, it's on the reverse. It's just saying that despite all this, with this Ten of Swords on the reverse, despite, despite all this, your heart is still pierced. You have a, a truly pierced heart here. It's something that uh, this sword is, has struck you in the heart and it's, it's not going to leave um, so soon at least. It's a slow process. It really hurts. I feel people here who are the most hurt people, who, who have the most broken heart, the most pierced heart, but at the same time you have reached a point where you either you die, and of course this is a metaphorical death, either you emotionally die, or you live and in your body, your soul, your intuition, your mind is making everything for you to live and you are, uh, you are doing it, okay? Very slowly with baby steps, but you are in this process of living. You're not, you're going to survive this. So this is kind of a dramatic, but uh, if you resonate with this, then this is your message. This is your pile. So let's see. Let's um, move the focus now to your person and the third party. And let's see what is the energy of your person right now towards the third party. And I'm going to use... A nine uh, card spread with reversals if needed. And then I'm going to read the full picture. Okay? So, what is the person uh, on the mind of card number two energy towards the third party? What is their emotional energy towards the third party, please? 
three cards on this deck with reversals if needed. What is your person's energies towards the third party? We have um, a king of, of cups on the reverse. Two of Pentacles on the reverse. And we have a uh, Knight of Pentacles on the reverse. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see more. Let's use this one here. So, what is the energy of this person on the mind of pile number two? Their emotional energy towards the third party at this second. This is a timeless uh, reading, so it doesn't matter when you read this. You will read when you need. So, we have uh, the chariot. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have Justice. <clears throat> okay, so let's pull three more. What is the energy, their energy towards the third party? People on the, on the mind of pile number two. We have Two of Pentacles again. We have the Magician. Have, uh, is this uh, six of pentacles on the reverse so on the back of the deck they have uh, six of swords on the reverse with the devil <clears throat> so with the six uh, this is a summation uh, of energies this back of the deck card the six of swords on the reverse together with the devil, says to me that for the time being, this person is not able to uh, leave this third party uh, person, okay? They can't leave this person. Uh, they are shackled uh, to, to this connection by the energy of the devil. There may be some codependency here, um, some addiction, some, um, some emotional addiction regarding the other person and i say this i take this meaning from the devil because i see there a six of um, swords on the reverse the six of swords has several meanings one of the meanings is um moving okay moving from one place to another and this moving from a bad place to a better place it's a journey um <clears throat> It takes, uh, it takes strength and perseverance and courage to make this journey. It's not uh, a smooth journey, right? It's something uh, that uh, in the traditional deck, the person is steering a boat. So it takes effort. It's steering the boat alone. So it's, it takes effort uh, to make uh, this movement. It's on the reverse, which means this person cannot create distance from this connection, even though that's what they would like, because the Six of, of Swords is still a Six of Swords. It's, it still means uh, moving from a bad place to another. The difference here is that because it's on the reverse, this person is not being able, even though they would like to, is not being able to create this distance. And they have a devil as well here so it's really reinforcing this now i see a person here who is trying to make decisions 
I don't see exactly a person who is um, accepting things how they are. It's not a person who is uh, in a tranquil, peaceful state, even if miserable. They're not okay with their, with their misery here in this connection. I see a person who is trying to make changes. We have a will of fortune here right in the center, so it's important. So uh, it means either your person is trying to make changes in this connection, and I also have the magician, so they're kind of thinking about manifesting something here, or this connection is under the influence of, of many changes, but I've, I most I am more inclined to think that it's your person who is trying to make this wheel of fortune turn because they also have a magician here and a chariot in decisions. The chariot is about decisions, so is the two of pentacles that comes here twice. And um, justice, it's also about at least rebalancing things. Uh, I don't feel your person knows what changes they are looking for and that's a really big problem what they know is that they don't like things as they are right now i don't know if this change would mean them stepping out of this connection or improving this connection or improving something in this connection or rebalancing the power in this connection it may mean all of this and it may mean all of this and it's coming so general because there may be uh, for sure different things for different people you are more than one person so what is com common here for you is that your person is not uh, peacefully sit in this connection but they can't live it they want a change, but I don't feel they really know exactly what they want. It's not coming here. I see pentacles, two of, pe two of pentacles here uh, showing up. That means your person is always trying to manage this connection in a way that is more comfortable for them and is trying to make choices here that are... Uh, uh, that have advantages for them, but they fail. <laughs> they fail. Every time they try to do this, I feel that they fail. That they fail. Why? Because, in fact, they don't have the means to do that. They don't have the feelings to do that. <clears throat> they don't have the mindset, <coughs> sorry, the heart set to do this. They just know they want something to change, but they don't have the will to give more than maybe the minimum or nothing to this connection with a six of pentacles on the, on the reverse. So they want change, but they don't, they're not giving anything to this connection. So no change, right? Maybe they're not giving anything to themselves as well. So no change. Then they want change, but they don't have the feelings to do it. They have a king of, of cups on the reverse. Their feelings are all bottled up. It's like almost a cancer now, uh, turning into a cancer inside of them. I'm sorry for this bad imagery, but it's uh, when we repress our feelings, uh, they are just get a monster inside of us. That's what's happening with your person. And that's why they can't manage these things as they should or they would like to. Then they have this Knight of Pentacles on the reverse. That means this Knight is completely unproficient. Uh, they can't make one, one single right decision in this, in this uh, thing. They never get it right. And for the most part, everything that they decide, everything that they do here... It's always bad, okay? They don't seem to do what they should. They can't do it. They don't have the feelings. They don't have the drive. They don't want to give. So they want change. But they don't know specifically, specifically what change they want. And they are not doing anything to uh, cause that change. This is pretty... Uh, almost making me sick in the stomach 
um, because this is this is conveying to me a sense of despair and being powerless and also kind of uh, almost like uh, I feel the need to shake these people to wake up and do something so let's do the same exercise now uh, regarding their emotional energy towards you okay so for pile number two what is their person's emotional energy towards them please the person they have on their mind in their mind What is their emotional energy towards you, pile number two? Please, let's see. We have a knight, uh, sorry, a nine of, of wands. We have an emperor on the reverse. Look, this is always falling. We have a Knight of Wands on the reverse. What is their emotional energy towards you? Pile number two. We have um, a Five of Coins, a Five of Pentacles on the reverse. Tower. Nine of Swords on the reverse. So some of you may be in separation. Uh, others of you may not be in separation, but they are ignoring you. They are more absent. For others of you, things are simply shaky, okay? Are not, uh, not very, very peaceful right now and loving. Okay, let's see more. We have um, a Two of Swords on the reverse. Five of Swords on the reverse. And the Moon. And on the back of the deck we have a Ten of Swords on the reverse with a Two of Pentacles on the reverse. <laughs> so for the most part you are really uh, on separation or if you're not in separation this person is really absent um, <clears throat> it's, it's not acting the same as they used to be uh, they don't call you they take a lot of time to reply to your messages they are uh, busy all the time uh, and for some of you, you you are really in separation for others and I feel a few just because the majority is uh, about being in separation or being ignored. But for some of you, if it's not that, then uh, things are really shaky. Okay, your connection is not peaceful right now. I see here um, a Ten of Swords on the reverse that means... If you are in separation, or it kind of feels that you are in separation, this is their emotional energy towards you, so they're not okay with that. It's not over for them. They don't like this as it is right now. They're not that. 
and this situation, this connection, your connection is not dead to them, but it's pretty painful as it is right now. They can't manage it, okay? They can't really manage this. They can't fit this feeling, this Ten of Swords on the reverse feeling in their everyday life, okay? Just go with their lives and everything is okay. It's not. They're not okay. Now, in the center card, in the center, the central card is a tower. It's important to me because it's in the center. The tower is a sudden shift uh, of events. So it may be uh, the separation or the shift in behaviors or a shift in perception or a shift in tension in the air. Okay, it's something that is different from the past. Uh, and it's not pleasant at all. So uh, they kind of lost their ground here, if, even if they don't seem like that to you. They have an emperor on the reverse, which means in the past they may have been acting as an emperor, kind of, okay, um, kind of control, controlling the situation, okay? The emperor is a powerful energy, is a masculine archetype of of power and making decisions and making things uh, happen according to their own rules and so and so it's on the reverse so it seems this tower here brought them a sense of uh, being their their ground their power was shaken it's like they fell off their throne or something and then to add to this we have a five of of uh, swords on the reverse which means it's kind of they were uh, subject to um, a conflict or a challenge and they were disarmed, okay? Uh, they were not expecting that. They were disarmed. They feel a little mouse here instead of an emperor. They feel defeated by someone else, maybe you. I don't know what happened. Now... They are guarded against you uh, and they're trying to ignore all these uh, crappy feelings they have because of this situation. They have a five uh, of pentacles on the reverse, which means they feel uh, deeply abandoned. They feel they lost something important and precious and valuable. And now uh, they're kind of poor and miserable. But they don't want to show you that. That's why they have this nine of wands here. They're trying to, to raise here a, a wall so you can't peek um, and see their true uh, self uh, on the other side of the, of the wall. We have a two of swords on the reverse, which means the two of swords speaks of a compromise uh, where neither of the parties wins, okay? It's like a, a stale male. When it's on the reverse, it means one of the swords gains a little bit of more power over the other. And now uh, this balance is not anymore. So in the past, I feel they were able to keep this... <laughs> Kind of bad compromise, but it was still a balance here. And now something happened here with the tower that made them their sword. Just they they lose they lose grasp of their own swords here in this in this balance that they were maintaining. I'm not, I don't know if I'm making myself clear with it, all these metaphors and and imageries that I'm, but I'm usually I usually express myself in this in this way. So <clears throat> they also have a nine of swords on the reverse that is, again, uh, confirming the poor state of this, uh, that this creature, uh, that this man or woman is, is at this time. They're in an anxious um, state right now, but they're trying to ignore it. They're trying not to think of it. It's uh, because they are. They always saw themselves as this emperor, even if your person is a woman. They always saw the, themselves as this untouchable 
powerful emperor, and now they lost their ground. And they don't want to face the fact that they are suffering from anxiety and a sense of abandonment and poverty. They have this knight uh, uh, of sort on the reverse, which means <clears throat> that they just fell off their horse. Um, they were fast, they were fiery, they were um, enthusiastic, they were self-confident in the past. Now they fell off their horse. They even don't feel very sexy anymore. <clears throat> they are kind of uh, doubting their own attractive uh, nature, uh, even, okay? And then they have inse insecures with the moon. It's not uh, the pool and, and, and so and so, it's insecures. This person is kind of insecure. I see this because this knight uh, of ones is on the reverse. This Knight of Wands is insecure now, is doubting their own worth. So, that's uh, what I feel with these cards, guys. I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but to end this reading, I'm going to pull uh, three cards to end in a positive note. Because usually these readings are not very positive, and that's because if everything was perfect in your connection, maybe you weren't here um, listening to pick a card readings, right? You were, you would be um, happy with this person, so you maybe you wouldn't feel the need for this, but or you would, but I don't know. At least the most of you. So let's end with a positive note and ask for this, my dear friends in pile number two, what blessing, what next blessing is coming for them in terms of emotions in the near future? And I don't want reversals. So one, two, and three. <clears throat> you can choose now your blessing. The card that you feel most drawn to, you can uh, see the, the animals, okay? Just choose as you like. So, the first uh, group is the spirit of the hummingbird, be present in the now. The second one is the spirit of the swan, it's time to dive deep. And the third one is the spirit of the turkey, uh, give with gr gratitude and elegance. So, let's clarify all these uh, things. Let's use this one. So, for the ones who chose the spirit of the hummingbird, be present in the now. What is this blessing, this emotional blessing that you can expect coming to you? I've wrenched this because you are different people, okay? What is the next blessing that is coming to you? We have the high priestess. We have Ace of Pentacles. Oops. <clears throat> and we have Six of Wands. So, it's about victory uh, after a long quest. It's about you returning home with your bounty, whatever bounty you deserve. It's uh, this bounty is this Ace of Pentacles. So, it's something that will be the first uh the first stone of a uh, of something big um it will come to you when you um when you finish that process that i saw you uh, doing in the first spreads when you finish that process or when you are a bit far in that process this will come to you so, because I asked for the, for the near future, it won't take long. It's about your intuition that we saw in the first spread. Now we see it again with the High Priestess. It's about your intuition that will serve you well in this quest. And in the end, you will return victorious. 
It's about mindfulness because also the hummingbird is about mindfulness. You know where you stand. You're not lost in this crazy dream anymore. And, and then this Ace of Pentacles will come to you. It's like the first stone for a grandiose building. It will come to you. It may be with this person or it, or it may not be, okay? But either way, it will be very good to you. So let's see the spirit of the swan now. For the ones who chose the spirit of the swan, it's time to dive deep. What is this about? What is this blessing that is coming to you on an emotional level? File number two with the spirit of the swan. We have uh, Queen of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. So for this, I, I will need to clarify. But I know, I see now that it will, um, it will have to do with your own feelings. It will be, uh, the, you're, you're kind of escaping your feelings. And I know, this will be a blessing, guys. It will be good for your well-being. I know. <laughs> Uh, sometimes blessings that are about our inner growth don't seem very exciting for some people, but it will be good because it will make you happier. It will make you feel better. So it will be a blessing and you will be a better person to yourself and a happier person with this blessing. So we are speaking about depth here. It's time to dive deep. It will be a moment where you will dive deep into your feelings, how you feel. Maybe you have been afraid of your feelings for some time to face them it, because it hurts very much. And that's why you have been uh, behaving with the Seven of Swords in the past, escaping, sneaking away from these feelings. So this will end. You will finally face your Five of Cups, your disappointments, your hurts, your senses of loss. You'll face them and you'll face this Queen of Cups feelings that are really your feelings to be honored and to be accepted and to be nurtured in order to transform these feelings into new, happier feelings, right? You have to accommodate these feelings or they will grow into monsters. So it seems that will be your blessing for the uh, near future. You will do this and you will be, and this will be good for you. We have a, a five of wands. So it's the inner, the inner conflicts, okay, that you, that you need to face. And then we have a two of pentacles. So with the Two of Pentacles, I feel you will be finally proficient. And then we have death. That is about the transformation of... Oh, this is kind of beautiful, guys. Um, you see, death is clarifying this Five of Cups. It's about the ending of its sadness. It's when you face these feelings that you'll find a way for them to transform into other feelings, okay, positive feelings. Uh, so you will be kind of proficient in dealing with this, maybe more than you expect. You will, you will be capable of doing this. The Two of Pentacles is about a juggler. It's on their pride, so no pentacle is, is falling. It's about being proficient, almost like an artist. You will do that, and you will be uh, successful in doing that, if you decide to do that, of course. Then we have the spirit of the turkey. Give with gratitude and elegance. What is that about? So, what is the blessing who is coming for, for people who chose the spirit of the turkey? 
We have all birds here. It means freedom, guys. Even though the turkey during Christm Christmas time <laughs> may not be a good bird to choose, but um, it's just a stupid joke. Anyway, birds are about freedom. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to leave this person behind. It's just emotional freedom, freedom from pain. So what is the blessing that is coming with the spirit of the turkey? We have a ten of cups. We have um, a king of wands. And we have a Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Let's clarify this interesting message here. Okay, Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. The Emperor. So, I don't know who, but someone is coming to you. I don't know, it may be your person. He's kind of an emperor as well, you know, he, he's only a pride here, even though I'm reading with the, without the reversals in this case. But it may be your person, it may be a, another person, but I see here an emperor coming to you with passion and fire and attraction. And I see uh, <clears throat> a perspective of a Ten of Cups, that's a family. So it may be the perspective of that, at least the beginning of for that. We have a nine of pentacles. Or, you, um, or this person will make you feel... Um, like this. Or this person, you may meet this person in a family context. So it depends. Um, of course, it may be different things. So let's clarify the Queen of Swords, that's you. It's you after uh, some... Oh, okay. So for all of you in the beginning of this reading, you all had that process here of taking baby steps towards your power again, raising up like a phoenix, but of course relearning to learn after, after being broken almost. After you... Um, go through the, through this process or part of it you will be this queen of swords uh, she's on the upright so it's good it's a person who is uh, look at her even if you're a man okay it's just the vibe it's like uh, even though she's she has a pierced heart here um, she was able to accommodate all the pains and hurts and deal with them Okay, uh, so she can uh, remove these needles from her heart. It's accessible to her. She's also kind of a flirt, uh, kind of a heartbroker here, I feel. She's powerful again. Uh, I also see here a nine of pentacles here. That means someone who has re retrieved their own power. I see a chariot. So you're moving forward with your own personal development, your own soul development here and I see someone coming to you it may be your person it may be another person but uh, it's something positive because they're coming with passion they're coming with stability and we have a ton of, of cups here that it's a good energy right it's a trusting energy it's a nurturing energy is a companionship energy so that's your blessing, uh, pile three. That's it. Uh, pile three, sorry. Uh, people who chose the spirit of the turkey, pile number two. So pile two, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to press like and subscribe. I hope, um, I wish you a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And um, most of all, I wish... I wish you all the best. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, pile number three. If you chose this card, <clears throat> Manifestia, card 36, this will be your reading, perhaps. 
let's just uh, first <clears throat> check your energy and uh, we will know if this resonates with you if it does this may be very well your reading so <clears throat> pile number three in this uh, third party situation what is your current emotional energy towards your person the person you have in your mind I would like one card with reversals, if needed, please. What is your current emotional energy towards this person right now? We have Spirit of the... Oh, this... I really need to learn the name of this little bird. Um, it's a naughty, playful bird. So let's see more. What is your current energy? Your current emotional energy towards this person that you're thinking about. We have breathe. <clears throat> What is your current emotional energy, power number three, towards this person right now? We have someone will walk by your side. So, so far I don't see anything negative really here. <clears throat> Let's see more. We have talking. It's on the reverse. <clears throat> so, this is a mystery here. This is a mystery. You are a mystery. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. You are interesting. Let's pull one of these. What is your current energy? Your current emotional energy, pile three. I wonder who is this for? I wonder who will resonate with this. Ancestors, remembrance. <clears throat> okay. Let's clarify all this with the tarot. First, we have this um, bird being naughty, being playful. Let's see, what is that about? What is the current emotional energy of these people in pile 3 regarding their person? In this third party situation we have the two of pentacles. <clears throat> Let's clarify that breed card over there. We have the lovers on the reverse. And uh, someone will walk by your side. We have the fool. Let's clarify that talking card. Oof. Okay, five of pentacles, oh, sorry, five of cups. And let's clarify the ancestors card. Remembrance. Seven of swords on the reverse. On the back of the deck, we have an ace of, of swords with a knight of swords. <clears throat> Well, I have an interesting energy here. Um, I, I, I'm picking up here a mature person, a mature energy. Um, with a lot of certainties, or at least uh, someone who uh, is not a victim, is not in a victim mentality. <clears throat> And, uh, um, well, I don't see here a, a, a connection that is free of trouble. I'm um, kind of picking up here that communication is not really flowing between the two of you. And that brings you sadness. 
You may be in no contact or the communication between the two of you may be deficient, may not be what you need. It's not making you exactly happy, this communication. And then I see here a person who is waiting, who has been waiting for a long time for a companion, but uh, has been forced to juggle a situation that is more playful and less of a relationship of companionship, okay, of, uh, of true companionship. I say this because of what? Well, we have the spirit, and I feel that you are contributing to the nature of this, uh, of this connection, uh, to the fact that it's playful. You are a playful person. You are an enticing person. You make your person laugh and uh, be excited. And uh, you maybe you tease them. You are good at it. And that's one of the things perhaps that your person likes in you. One, at least, one of the things. So for some time, or maybe forever, you have been um, contributing to make this a playful connection. But it's, uh, it's more on the superficial side, because companionship, you're still waiting for that with this someone will walk by your side, and I feel that you are hoping for a new start with this person. A new type of connection, okay? Someone to take a leap of faith here with a fool and dive more deep, emotionally deep, and in actions and everything like that. So, I have here a sense that maybe if you're not already on a break from this connection, you're thinking about that or something of a break here is on the horizon. The communication is not flowing because this talking is on the reverse and together with the Five of Cups, uh, it's something that makes you sad, right? That you're losing here something. Um, so I see a break here because of this breathing card. It's not exact, exactly a, a bad thing. It's um, being on this break or the thought of this break from this connection is not making you feel uh, very, very desperate. There's a part of it that maybe you need a break from this all this playfulness. But then there's just that. There's nothing more deep. There's nothing deeper than that. With the lovers on the reverse, this connection may be taking a break. Or there's a perspective of that, as I said. There's an Ace of Swords here with a Knight of Swords. That's easier energy. It seems you're looking for something concrete. For something that is more clear, okay? Uh, there are some fundamentals, fundamental truths here in this connection that you would like to be honored and these truths are, are about feelings okay what 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 does this person feel for you after all it's just uh, for fun or is there something more there maybe you are as well looking for your own truth in this for some of you it, it is at least so then we have these two cards here, the Ancestors card that is about remembrance. This may be a kind of the Six of Cups energy to some extent. It's about, uh, it's one of your truths. And maybe it's one of, of the things that you have been keeping for yourself in this connection for some time and not sharing with your person. Perhaps you didn't really uh, express to the full extent what you really want in this connection and you're just playing along with with the spirit of this little uh, naughty and, and, and playful bird uh, but what you really want is something with more depth it's a six of cups it's kind of a sense of companionship unconditional love and belonging it's all everything most of us want that right so it's perfectly natural to want it and now you're at the point that you would like to express this, you know, 
uh, release the mask and say, look, I'm just not the playful uh, person here. I have deeper feelings. I have deeper wishes that I feel that, that I need for my life. So that's the energy I pick um, for this pile here. We have Manifestia here, so there's a strong uh, energy of trying to manifest what you really want in this connection. So if you resonate with this, then uh, this may very well be your message here. Let's now see your person and their energy towards the third party and see how are they going with that. So, for pile number three, what is the energy of their person regarding the third party? Their emotional energy, how are they doing there? What is the energy of this person on the mind of pile three towards the third party? What is their energy, please? One card with reversals if needed. We have uh, Spirit of the Beetle. Magic uh, happens through you. It's on the reverse. So it, there's kind of a sense here of disempowering that maybe someone doesn't have the skills to, to manifest something. I don't know what is this something. We'll know more as we go. So let's take one of these. We have cleaning. We have happiness depends only on you. It's on the reverse. <clears throat> and let's see one more. We have uh, death on the reverse, um, Sawin. And one of these. And then we will clarify this with a tarot. But anyway, uh, I, I'm picking up here um, a sense of blocked transformation. Someone is looking for a transformation here and, and the energies are blocked. And then we have clock. Okay, it's about time. This person needs time uh, as they feel it, as at least that's what they feel, that they need time. So let's see, let's clarify first the spirit of the beetle. Magic uh, happens through you. It's kind of a magician energy. It's on the reverse, that means either this person doesn't feel they have the skills to make whatever they want happen or they don't have the self-confidence, or it may be about communication. Uh, maybe they have a communication problem as well with the other party. And maybe it's uh, a bit of everything. It may be. Let's see. What is that beetle about on the reverse? We have a king of swords. <clears throat> it's about uh, communication. The communication is not uh, in good shape in that connection. We have a seven uh, of pentacles here. <clears throat> so there are stuff, there are, um, there is stuff here in this connection that is in need of cleaning, but it's, it's a very slow process that is making your person impatient. Then we have a three of swords on the reverse. Together with that, uh, happiness does not depend. Uh, happiness depends only on you. So I feel your person feels kind of codependent uh, of this connection here, and um, to an extent they're trying to heal this connection, 
because they feel they kind of need the other person to be happy. And I'm not saying that that's because they love the other person. It may be because of their life, of what they built, okay? Now we have <clears throat> three of uh, ones together with a death card on the reverse. So it's like they are waiting for things to uh, have a resolution by themselves without them without them uh, having to take a part in it, okay? It's about their expectations that the transformation in this connection happens without them having to do anything about that. So, because they feel powerless and they have too much crap um, to deal and to release in this connection, then they are kind of waiting in their comfort zone that time passes and things to improve by themselves. By miracle, perhaps? So that's the general energy. Now let's see one nine spread cards to see the story of them. So what is the energy of this person on the mind of pile number three regarding the third party? We have an Ace of Cups on the reverse. We have a Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. We have a Three of Cups on the reverse. What is their energy towards the third party, please? We have uh, ten of swords, sorry, nine of swords. Oh, there's the magician on the reverse. So this is kind of the beetle energy that we saw there that was on the reverse. Uh, this is something very important. Here we have uh, an, an empress on the reverse. So things are really bad here in this connection, I feel. <clears throat> they have a lot of anxiety. They lack love. They, they can't manifest anything in this connection. I feel they don't care so much by this, uh, about this connection but, or about the person. They have no fun in there. So let's see, what is this? The hanged man on the reverse. Uh, three of Wands. And they, they, they are worried about their finances here, about what they have of material and practical things. What they built with this person, that's uh, perhaps what, why uh, an Ace of Cups again on the reverse. That's what keeps them in this connection. Then we have a page of wands with a two of wands. So, um, <clears throat> on the back of the deck, we have a, a page of wands. That's the little boy or girl inside of your person who wants to get out of this connection with a two of wands. The two of wands speaks about, it may be about a decision when there are twos here involved in tarot, it may be about decisions, but it's not for sure only about that. The two of wands speaks about um, how do I say this in English? Um, two things. What we already built and what we want to build uh, again. It's about a person who is standing uh, in their castle. They already built a castle. They already built something. Everything is done, okay, in this, in, this, in this castle. And now they are staring at the horizon thinking, what will be my next adventure? Because this is done here. I need something new. 
But this two of wands is still about uh, being uh, just pondering, contemplating this idea. It's someone who is still in this comfort zone of what they already built, but just um, flirting with the idea of leaving the castle behind and, and exploring new horizons, new adventures, building something new somewhere else. Uh, this imagery comes with a with a with a page of ones that that's what they think about that what they they dream about when they are alone uh, going okay just living and going with this enthusiastic uh, new energy of the page of ones to do something elsewhere that's very strong in your person. It may be related to you and, and it may not. It may be just related to the dissatisfaction that they feel in their connection, right? They don't really want to be there. If they want to be with you, I don't know yet. I just know they don't want to be in this connection. But then we have a problem. We have a magician as a central card and that's important because it's in the center. We have a magician on the reverse, that means... This person doesn't feel they have the skills to do this new exploration, new adventure. They don't feel confident to do it. So they keep being in this internal planning here of the Three of Wands, um, mental, mental preparations. Well, if I do this, if I, if I do that, and so and so, where would I go, and so and so. They never do it. They're just in this internal uh, small pre preparation stage because they don't feel uh, they have the skills to do it and the, the self-confidence to do it. Then it's very hard for them to leave behind a Ten of Pentacles. It's something, it's a lot, okay? Money, property, um, routines, uh, houses... I don't know what your person has together with the other party, but they do have something um, that is big enough for them to not want to risk it, to leave that behind. Then they lack love for this person. They lack fun for this person. Uh, I am. I'm kind of. Uh, I, I. I even think they don't care so much for this person. Two aces of, uh, of cups on the reverse, empress on the reverse, three of cups on the reverse. They don't have any fun there. They don't care about the other person. They don't, don't, they don't love them anymore. Um, they're suffering from anxiety with this nine of swords here. This is something that is constantly present in their lives. Then they have a hanged man on the reverse, that means. In, in this case, I feel it's about perspective. The hanged man also speaks about being, uh, having new perspectives about a certain subject. Your person fails to find a new perspective here that may aid him or her to finally have uh, feel confident to do something about this and it's about also the fact that they feel a really really a victim here in this situation the hanged man is someone who sacrifices oneself by not acting in order not to worsen a situation so it's on the reverse and i feel that it's on the reverse because this your person uh, is taking from this card the meaning of really being a victim and in, in the bad sense of that because it's a victim that well they, they, they shouldn't be a victim they can do something about this but they don't they just stay there um, considering themselves a victim of, uh, of life and of others and so and so it's your, uh, this is your person's energy towards the third party. Let's see their energy th towards you right now. Let's 
So let's uh, do the same thing. Let's pull some, some Oracle cards first. And then we do the nine spread cards. So what is your person's energy towards you, pile number three? We the manifest your card. What is it, their current emotional energy towards you? We have a spirit of the cow. Mir miracles never end. So I feel that there's a, <clears throat> there's this sacred abundant cow here. We have orphan. So <clears throat> for some of you, if not all, at least the cards are addressing. Some of you, some of you, of your, some of you situation, right? Some of you are in, in, in no contact or are, are not speaking, are not talking or something. For others, it's just that they transform your karma on the reverse. It's just that they, um, Sometimes feel alone in this connection, okay? For whatever reason. We'll know more details as we go. A witch healer. Oh, so... <clears throat> I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but... Whatever your gender is... You're a witch... Um, in a good sense, okay? You're the person who performs magic and miracles and gives to this person, to your person, some happiness, some rest from the, from the nightmares they have um, in the rest of their life. So you're an escape, coffee cup, meeting and, converse, and, and conversing, Savoring the moment, friendship, feeling uplifted. That's the vibe I was getting. It's with you that they find an escape from the torment they are having in the other connection or in, in life in general, in work or whatever. I don't know. It's, uh, it depends on your situation. But what is common for all of you is that it's with you that they find, re find redemption from whatever crap they have in their lives. Okay? This orphan... <clears throat> Some of you may be in separation or, or, or in no contact. Some of you may be. I feel there are people here who are in no contact, but I feel it's not all of you. The others is just this orphan card. Who are The others who are not in no contact, it's just that this orphan card feels uh, says to me that when they feel abandoned in life, when they feel alone in life, it's with you that they find healing, a uh, break from the, from the crap that they face in, in the other areas of their life, and abundance and miracles and, uh, you know, nurturing with this, with this cow. It's a sacred cow. And the karma is released. They don't feel... Uh, they find redemption from their mistakes, from their guilt, from their victim mentality. That's you are a, a sacred refuge, so that's your um, that's their energy, okay? That's what defines their energy towards you. No matter um, the situation now, this is the strongest thing, it's very strong. So now let's see with the nine spread cards. What is their energy towards you and uh, their current energy towards you and your connection? Pile number three. Four of Pentacles. Five of Swords on the reverse. Ten, uh, sorry, uh, judgment on the reverse. Let's see more.
What is their energy towards you, pile number three? Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords on the reverse. King of Swords, so many mental energy here. This person knows, uh, <clears throat> they know some fundamental truths about this connection. It's again the same theme, this, this theme of the fundamental <clears throat> truths of this connection. What is true in this connection is something that is coming in your energy and their energy. So it's something that you share, you're mirroring this. You're pick, maybe you're picking uh, this theme from one other, another. But I feel this person knows, really knows what... Uh, then we have a Queen of Swords, it, it was on the reverse. Um, this person knows... Okay, I'm going to put it here. This person knows what is true in this connection. And it's, it's something big. But they cannot act on it. And that's a problem here. So let's see three more. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so we we now know what is what they know is true. This Ten of Cups, okay. And of course, take this as resonates. Okay, then we have an Ace of Swords on the reverse. That's uh, reinforcing the fact that your person knows the fundamental truth of this connection, but they cannot act on it. They cannot respect this truth. They cannot. They won't. They don't want to, or they can't, or whatever. So, let's see one more. Four of Cups on the reverse, and then on the back of the deck we have a Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess on the reverse, and also Death. So, let's start with the summation of energies, that is that Seven of Pentacles. There's this, this person has a certain um, perception of this situation that um, in the long run, they can save this. They can do the right thing. They can act according to what they believe, what they know is true in this connection. Um, they have this sense that you can wait, they can wait. Uh, they need time. There's patience uh, needed here. They not, they're not ready. And so and so. They have this, they're very convinced of this. The problem is that this comes with a high priestess on the reverse and is telling me that what they think, the time they think they have, they don't. And their intuition, their inner knowledge is kind of telling them, you know, it's an illusion that you're, that you're building. The fact that you think that you have all the time in the world, you know, that you'll be here living forever. So one day you will make this fundamental truth honored and this fundamental truth about this connection is this ten of cups it's what is true it's the fact that uh, this person could be happy in a family with you this person could change a partner okay a life partner where they they now have one they could change in order to be happy to honor the truth of this connection that you are kind of compatible to be in a Ten of Cups connection. They know this, but they think they have all the time in the world to make this happen. So this High Priestess on the reverse is telling them, nope, you don't, but you're not listening to your inner voice. You're just using all these swords here, the King of Swords uh, energy to uh, kind of convince themselves with all good um, all good arguments that they have time to make this and now it's not the right time to make this happen. 
Now, with the Four of, of, of Pentacles, this person is really attached to this truth. He's not letting go of this um, awareness that deep inside, they know that a Ten of Cups would be possible with you and, and that would make them happy. They're not acting on it because they have a, a Knight of Swords on the reverse together with an Ace of Swords. That means this, this truth is not being put in a, into actions and is not being honored. It's, it's like turning a truth into a lie. Okay, And then we have here a Five of Swords. That means this person is afraid of confrontation. Is afraid of confrontation from people, from life. Is afraid of being defeated if they are confronted with challenges. So, um, I'm not saying your person is a coward, but I know, but I see fear here and someone who is, who is being accommodated to a situation and is kind of creating this illusion that they can do something in the future about it, but they, I don't see them. Um, they're postponing this forever, I feel. Now, you're not seeing eye to eye. I feel if, even if you're not speaking about that, if you are, then you are. But if you're not speaking about that, there's this tension in the air. Okay, because in, deep inside, both of you know that this Ten of Cups could be manifested here. And both of you know that uh, deep inside, both of you are emotional, emotionally open to one another. It's not something superficial. It's deeper than that. But judgment is on the reverse, which means your person doesn't feel capable of turning, in, of turning this into something better, okay, for an improvement in this connection, for turning this into something that is right, that is supposed to be. So that's it um, <clears throat> about their energy. So as I did with the other piles, I would like to end with a positive note. Uh, and uh, I'm going to ask for all of you, what is the next emotional blessing that you will be granted in the near future, okay? Because uh, we have shadow and light in our lives, so I'm kind of asking about what is the next ray of light that will come to you in the, sh in the near future, guys, from part three. <clears throat> so pick one of the three cards, because you are different people. Then go to the, to the timestamps in the description box, and you can choose the cards without knowing what the cards are and you can choose with with after looking at the cards it's okay so the first one is the spirit of the parrot um be careful with with your words the second one is, is the spirit of the dog be faithful to what you love and the third one is the spirit of the i don't know it's a deer um i think and uh, it says, assuming leadership. So let's clarify all this, okay? For the first one, for the people, for people who chose the spirit of the parrot, be careful with your words. What is uh, the next blessing that is coming towards them in terms of their emotions? Ooh. What is the next blessing, please? We have a King of Wands. We have the world. And we have an Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so, we have a, another person's energy here. It may be your person, it may be another one, another person, okay? But there will be a conversation here, a very productive conversation, 
that will lead to something, first of all, to a sense of completion, uh, to a sense of, uh, of taking very positive and profound conclusions about matters that were unclear. So I see a deep conversation here that is fueled by... Um, it will be a productive conversation, but it, it won't be a cold, rational, analytical conversation. It will be a passionate conversation, okay? Fueled by passion, fueled by fire, in a fire. This will be good, okay? Because it will come from the soul. It will come from emotion. It will be true. This conversation will be true. So I feel truth, truth will arise, at least some part, some part of it will arise from this conversation and will lead at least to the promise or the perspective of an ace of pentacles here, of putting the first stone into something more concrete, more stable, uh, more practical. So, <clears throat> so there's a small jump here in the video because I, my memory card was full. But <clears throat> this is a message for you, people who chose the parrots. Let's see now um, <clears throat> the spirit of the dog. <clears throat> be loyal to what you love. Be faithful to what you love. What is the blessing that is coming to you in the near future? People who chose this, this card here. We have a, a page of ones. We have a seven of cups. And we have a king of cups. So for you, um, you two have a person coming here. Now a king of cups. It may be your person, this King of Cups. It may be another person, but uh, I don't know. I feel this is your person because I have this, this Oracle card here. Let's clarify this with more cards. Let's see the Page of Wands. Okay, we have a, a Queen of Wands. That's you. That's oops. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. And four of Pentacles. And let's clarify the King of Cups. We have uh, the Hanged Man. So it seems, I kind of feel strongly that, that this is, and we also have the, uh, the High Priestess on the back of the deck. I kind of feel strongly that this King of Cups is not another person. This is your person who is coming uh, and will be kind of trying to be faithful to their uh, feelings, okay, towards you. They had a hangman in another spread that was on the reverse uh, that was speaking about their victim mentality and the, f the fact that they couldn't have a, a new perspective about uh, their life circumstances. Now they have a hanged man here again with their feelings. And I feel your person is trying to, will try to, at least there's a possibility to that. The future is never written in stone. So mind that and um, take only what resonates. I feel that in the future they will kind of find a new perspective of how to deal with their feelings. And that will lead to new actions, okay? To... Um, to a new approach towards you. They will still be kind of ill-equipped Ill when it comes to their approach to you, okay? If you are in no contact, this person will contact you, for sure, with a page of wands. It will be kind of a, an impulse. I feel there will be a shift here in your person's uh, behavior, perception of things, and so and so, because, in fact, they can't let go of this connection. This connection is what gives them oxygen to breathe and then we have a seven of cups here on the reverse that means oh sorry it's on the upright but indeed i feel the energy is on the reverse because i'm not reading in this 
in these uh, blessings uh, spread, I'm not reading with reversals. So I have to know what type of energy to get from the cards. And I feel this would be in, on the reverse, the Seven of Cups. It kind of means that they will find a focus here instead of being so scattered and so all over the place. Your person will find a focus here and will approach you with a new perspective and kind of honoring more their feelings. Of course, how things will go after that, I don't know. I wish you all the best, guys. So, I know these are really sticky situations normally. So, let's see now the spirit of that uh, thing over there, the deer, I think. It's assuming leadership. So, for the ones who chose that card... What is the blessing that is coming towards them in the near future? Emotional blessing. Okay, we have an approach here again. We have a Knight of Cups. So, romance is approaching you. It's coming your way. Nine of Cups. So it will be something that will please you a lot. That will give you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Six of Pentacles. Someone will give you romance. Someone will give you what you want. Or at least part of what you want. Or a big wish that you have. Someone we will approach you with an offer here. It may be your person or it may be another person. It depends on you. But uh, this dear here is, um, is who will take charge. It's not you. It's, it's another person who will take charge and really charge towards you with a cup and will bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment by giving you, okay, by being, being generous with you, towards you. So that's your next blessing, guys. So I don't know if it will be something long term or temporary, but for sure will give you a lot of pleasure, a lot of uh, emotional fulfillment. So that's it for today for this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. As, as usual, as always, I wish all the best for you. If we don't see each other before Christmas I, and you celebrate Christmas, I, I wish you a Merry Christmas and all the best to you. Bye-bye.